Hey families and my awesome students, I hope that you're enjoying your time at home. I know that the situation is different and that it's definitely unexpected and it's not something that we were hoping would occur, but we're in this situation and we're going to get through it together. So this video is just to introduce myself. Um, many of you know who I am and have met me at school when you dropped off your children or either at dismissal, but I am Miss Sander. I am your child's pre-K 4G1 teacher, and I'll be leading you through this time for digital learning at home. And I look forward to teaching your child and doing what we can to get them ready for kindergarten and for next year. All of my wonderful students are perfectly on their way to be ready for kindergarten, um, but we're gonna do our best to make sure that they're even more ready and that they're going to do anything that um, is possible additionally at home to get them on their way. So um, all of you have received this at-home learning binder. Um, and I have already done on my previous YouTube channel a video of what you'll find in this binder. And so basically, I'm just going to be talking about today what we're going to be seeing for at-home learning. Um, so we're going to be looking at this and then also looking at a few other things that you'll see during this time for at-home learning. So we're going to be working in this, which is your child learning binder, which is will have their assignments in it. And they can use either a pencil or a crayon or a marker, or anything like that. Just make sure that if it's anything that they may need to correct, that it is in a pencil. But if it's something that they can color or that they can draw or a fun activity in here that I had put in and I have requested for them to work on, they're more than welcome to use crayons or markers. Um, I also want to remind you that if your child is requesting help, you're more than happy to reach out to me. Um, I will be um, available from 8 a.m. in the morning up until um, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You can contact me, call me, use Remind, anything that um, you might need in order for me to help your child. Um, but I do want to remind you that if your child um, wants immediate help at home and you can't reach me for some reason, just try not to give them the answer. Try to um, assist them any way that you can that doesn't give them the answer automatically, whether that be they're sounding out the word by giving the word sound, um, by maybe something that rhymes with it, or something like that other than just giving them the answer. So, and there's plenty of ways to do that, and I'm more than happy to um, help you with that if that's what needs to happen. So the second thing is that I will also be working on whiteboards. If you have a whiteboard at home, that's great. Um, if not, that's okay too. I have put um, sheet protectors in your binder. You can use that as a whiteboard as well. Um, but this is also for me to show you on YouTube whenever I do lessons, as well as um, on here to show your child something or, you know, whatever the lesson might be for that day to show them on here. I'll either use the line side or I may use um, the blank side. So whichever um, one I use that, this is a brand new one. So, um, so excited, you know, for any supplies. Um, and then I also might use um, this. So this is kind of a mini anchor chart. It looks like this and has um, a bunch of different paper, colored paper in it. So I'll either use it for letters or I might use it for sentences, um, possibly for words, sight words, rhyming words, patterns, math, anything that it might be, I'll use this as well. Um, I will be doing lots of read alouds. I'm super excited because I can still read to your children, um, ask questions, and still interact with them and share my love for reading with them through this as well. As hard as it may be, um, I love reading to my kids and I love reading to my students and I can still do that through this. So I do hope to do at least three read alouds a week. Um, and if that doesn't happen, then um, at least two. So definitely refer to the YouTube channel to get 
those weekly read-alouds. Um, and I'll also be sending you updates as to when to find those. But um, one of the first ones that we're, that we're going to read, not today, but um, that you'll see the first one on the YouTube is We Don't Eat Our Classmates. And I think it's kind of a funny book to read in a time like this because um, you know, we're not with our classmates, you know, and I know that's difficult and it's particularly difficult for me because, you know, I want to be with y'all and more than anything, um, but it kind of gives us a laugh. It gives us something to think about and to give us a giggle during this time of uncertainty. And um, so, yeah, this is going to be our first read aloud. And so I'm super excited. So stay tuned for this book and um I look forward to hearing from you soon, but I do want to let you know that I love you. I miss you. I'm thinking about each and every one of you, and um, I'll be checking in to make sure that you're doing your daily assignments, and Tuesdays and Fridays are when we're going to be taking attendance, so be looking out for those attendance checks, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.